If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. So I just finished listening to J. Cole's new album, The Off Season, for the second time. The first time that I listened to this was on stream together with you guys. And if you were there for the stream, you know that uh, I think this thing is amazing. Um, this was also confirmed by my second listen now. Um, you know, on stream I said I don't want to give this a 10 out of 10 right away because that's my first listen. But even after my second listen, I think I would give this thing a 10 out of 10. But I'm not going to do that yet because it still needs some time to breathe and grow on me. But this thing is amazing. If you have not listened to this yet, then you're missing out. You need to go listen to this right now. This is something that you can really tell took a lot of time for Cole to perfect. He said that this was years in the making that it took a long time to reach um, this form of his craft, of his artistry. And today I want to give my first impression of this thing. This is not a detailed review that is yet to come, but this is more like what I thought after my first two listens of uh, the album and the tracks on here. So first thing that I want to start with is that he also gave us the track list yesterday right before release. So we knew what was uh, you know coming. We knew two tracks out of the 12 already. We knew the interlude that he dropped as a single. Um, um, a week ago, we also knew the climb back that dropped as part of the Lewis Street EP. I loved both of them. Um, and even listening to this thing back now, they really fit into the album. They're still amazing when you listen to them even like a year later now in the case of the climb back. And that is uh, truly great, to be honest. Um, he starts this thing off with 95 South. And this is already where like the, the greatness begins because on here he truly pushes his limits. He has a really aggressive but not arrogant in any way, but more like hungry, you know, that mixtape level of hunger that uh, Cole displays on here is just amazing. He completely is into it. He knows he's in his zone and he just, just delivers. The bars on here are amazing too. Uh, his pen game and flows are on point. This is like the best version of Cole on this album that we've had in forever. Um, same goes for the next couple of tracks. Amari, great, you know, very bouncy beat. Um, and him just flowing over this, his, yo, his voice, his flows with his bars, with the mix and the leveling on this thing. I already said this for the interlude and I'm going to say it again because this is insane. Of course, the production on the instrumentals, the beats is amazing. Cole also plays a big role in that too on here if you go look at the credits. But just the mix is something that you know, you wish you just copy this template that they've, you know, created for the off season, and everyone should use this. This is amazing. Um, I think if you really, you know, like look for it and try to notice it when you're listening to it, you will notice that too. Even if you're not that, you know, educated in music production or whatever, it's just something you appreciate and something that gives it so much more value, you know, listening back to this. And I love when um, just the album is consistent in its production and mix. So we also have features on here. That's the next big thing. We didn't see them on the track list, but um, they're hidden. We have a 21 Savage and Moray feature on My Life and a little Baby feature on Pride is the Devil, which I was very excited for. You know, I love Lil Baby, the state where, you know, where he's at right now, trying to become great, trying to become a legend. And this is yet another step for him to be on a track with J. Cole on arguably one of the J. Cole's uh, most important albums. And he definitely delivered. He really fit the track. I also love 21's part on My Life. Definitely feels like a a lot version too. A lot of you guys said that in the live stream too. Um, but it just fit. It just worked. Now probably the standout track on this whole thing is Let Go My Hand or Hunger on Hillside. Two very personal tracks to Cole. His storytelling on these is incredible. He can really paint a picture, you know, in front of your inner eyes, uh, in your mind and really, you know, touch you and get you to feel the same things that he's feeling. And that's something that I talked about, you know, when we were discussing this album coming up. I said that J. Cole is, you know, we listen to J. Cole for more than just the music. This is about 
it's seeing him as like a mentor as like even just like a friend that he's always been there throughout the many years and this is yet another step that we see him as a person evolve and then give us that wisdom give us that knowledge that he's accumulated over the years in his music and that is why you know tracks like hunger on hillside or let go my hand even pride is a devil or a hundred mil they are so so valuable to fans same goes for close i think close is also a very personal um track i'm so excited to be able to go back to this thing and re-listen to this as many times as i want over the next couple of days and weeks and months and years um i think this will go down as one of his best projects i think this was one of the most you know to the point concise and confident projects um, the things that he displayed in here in terms of emotion or insecurities, they were presented in a very mature way. When you listen to his first couple of mixtapes or even his first two, three albums, you know, up until 2014, Forest Hills Drive probably, you can feel that he's always been real, but was oftentimes in his lyrics just displaying his emotions and not, you know, telling the fans how he dealt with them or deals with them. And I think that's something that I really respect about the off season. you know, aside from just the musical aspects now, just like as a, you know, fan of Cole, uh, f you know, I, I noticed that. Um, yeah, so one of his most mature projects, uh, the production is amazing on this thing. Um, and those two things go together very well. You can see that this was like his vision. This is what he wanted to do. He was on a mission to create this thing. Very focused, very, you know, as he explained in the trailer and in that, you know, interviews that he's done um, so far, he was very much applying pressure. That's another track on here. Amazing as well, by the way, that's bars. Um, but he was applying pressure on himself to not get complacent, to not get comfortable, but rather improve himself even further at this late stage or in in his career um because he might be retiring i dropped a video on it a couple of days ago if you want to go watch that um so this was really him trying to reach a new peak maybe his peak this might be the best that we'll see from j cole of course we have the fall off and it's a boy still coming but um i think man it really can't get a lot better than this this is insane um as i said in the stream already you know usually my first listens are kind of disappointing um and then the album grows on me and sometimes very rarely very very rarely an album is great and i know it's great it's just a feeling you have the first time you listen to it and then it just keeps continues getting even better and that's the case for me for the off season so that's my thoughts on this um yeah you've seen my reactions to like the individual tracks and the whole thing on stream it's kind of funny how at the beginning i was more hyped and you know the more we got into the into the track list i got more and more kind of reserved because um of course the tracks were getting more and more personal but this is amazing yeah so i want to know what you think about this let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.